Alrighty, what is going on everybody? Welcome on in to the YouTube live stream. We don't get these very often, but we are back again today with another one. So uh, welcome on in. Now then, as you may have seen from the thumbnail, this is going to be a great one tutorial slash guide. And I'm going to be doing it on Rancho Del Arroyo. I know that this is for the uh, OG whitetail that you guys absolutely love. So, uh, so yeah, let's get it done. Let's get it done. Uh, how's everybody doing today? Five things out there. Jude, as well as Chris and Hidden Saber. What's going on, everybody? Good to see you guys coming on into the YouTube stream. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you've had a good Sunday. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions initially off the bat. And if not, we'll just go ahead and we'll start by working on the setup for the Great One Grind. So initially, what you're going to want to do is have a map in mind. Now, you can go for any map realistically. It doesn't have to be Rancho. It could be for any of them that the Whitetail are on. Um, and then once you've done that, what you need to do is you need to make your way around and try and find the different locations for the animal that you're looking for. So that is what we are going to be doing for now. We're going to be having a little look around. Jude's tired. Well, you need to get yourself off to sleep at some point, Jude. It is pretty late. I am going live at relatively late, so uh, I do apologize about that. But I figured it'd be a good time for us to, to go ahead and hit things up. So let me go ahead real quick. I want to reset some time here. Uh, what time do we want to go for? Well, white tails are around 8 o'clock, so let's go ahead and we'll set it for around there. Uh, why is Coco not a mod? Coco is not a mod because I haven't seen her on the YouTube stream. Uh, I think that I can just click on her name, actually, and then mod her that way. Uh, add moderator. There you go. Coco is now a moderator. There you go. Um, you're late. Well, I went live at 11 o'clock exactly, so I don't think I'm late, but... It is what it is. I would not miss this. It's been ages. Well, Jude, it's good to see you, buddy. Thank you very much for stopping on into the stream. And everybody else out there, I do hope that you've all had yourself a great Sunday. I do hope you've all had a good Sunday. Obviously, the YouTube live streams are a little bit different. I'm used to being on Twitch where we have music. We have a lot of fun. We have party time. Whereas YouTube's a little bit, I don't know, I want to say more professional for me. Where, you know, I have to sort of remember I don't have any music on. I'll take that. That's a level three whitetail right there, which is potentially a diamond. So, I will, <laughs> I will take that as our first animal. Don't mind if I do. Um, very happy to see that. Very happy to see that. Well, I will leave again. Need to get to bed. Melling, have a good night. Achieve Ian, welcome on into the stream, buddy. My PC randomly put the stream to 144p, so you saw me in all kinds of pixels and stuff and things. Whereas now I look good. So, guys, let's start off the stream with a diamond whitetail, shall we? Yeah, let's do that. Let's go down. Brilliant. <laughs> that could not have been any better. That really couldn't have gone any better. Let's go ahead and pick it up. I really hope that this is a diamond. There's no reason it shouldn't be. But that's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. Chris of Duke. Ugh. Yep, now it's 1080p. I'm not a monster. There we go. Good, good. Might be on my end. Yes, you need to go ahead and set your quality to 1080p, everybody. It may be set to 144 by default, so you need to just make sure that, that one's done. Uh, hey, Andy, I can't believe that Africa is actually fixed. Well, there you go, Caden. You are now able to go ahead and bless those rains down in Africa and have a little bit of fun over there as well. So hope that you're making the most of that one, buddy, and thank you for stopping on into the stream. It's good to see you. Love you, Coco. Have yourself a wonderful night if you're heading off and if you're chilling with us for a little while. Hope you enjoy that too. Guys and girls, are we really about to see a great one? Oh no, sorry, a diamond, but there we go. Look at that. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Look at that beauty right there. A diamond on the day, a 269. Don't mind if I do. I love that. Let's go ahead and taxidermize him. Hold on. Let me just have a quick look here. Look at that rack. Look at that rack. Ooh. Love that. Beautiful. There we go. Let's keep on moving. I'm here to chill for a bit. All right, Coco. Cool, cool. Sounds good. We've got Benjamin and Sylvie out there. Hey, what's going on, buddy? How are you doing today, my friend? I hope everything is going well for you. Well, there we go. That's beautiful. Our first animal on the day is a diamond. I will take that any day of the week. TK, what is going on, sir? How are you doing out there, buddy? Good to see you. Hope you are doing well. Now, TK, you messaged me on Discord a little while ago, buddy, asking me about uh, doing a great one grind, and I did reply to you, but I don't know if you saw it. So if you could just get a yay or nay on that one, buddy, I would appreciate that. 
How's your day, bud? My day was really good, thank you, sportsman. How has your day been? How's your Sunday been? Hope that you and the family have had a good day. Andy, I honestly thought it was a video, not a stream. Well, there you go. No, it's me. I'm real. Hi. I'm interactive and live. And you can chat and ask any questions that you like. And I'm here for you. I'm here for you. I don't do YouTube streams very often, but I'm trying to get into them a little bit more. So, uh, so guys, what I will say to try and help the stream out a little bit is if you have anywhere that has self-promotion channels, go ahead and share the stream, obviously. But also, if you are here right now, please do go ahead and leave a like on the video on the live stream. I'm not really sure how it comes across. Um, but if you could leave a like on it, it would apparently that really helps. So uh, I would really appreciate that. I got Sea of Thieves yesterday and I've been obsessed ever since. There we go. A little bit of Sea of Thieves. That's good. Alrighty. Let's keep on moving out here. Just spam Zaggy self-promotion channel. I should have put anything out. I should have put some things out in these self-promotion channels. You're not wrong, Coco. I should have done that. I already did. Thank you, Ian. That's very kind of you, buddy. I do appreciate it. Okay. So we've got Antelope Jackrabbits calling out to us. Yep. I got your message. Good stuff, buddy. I'm glad that it came through. Andy, why is there only 11 people here? Isn't there usually like 500 people in here? Well, Caden, you've got to remember, buddy, that a YouTube video may get 500 views, but that'll be accumulated over multiple days and multiple hours. When you go live, often what you find is that you'll have a couple of people that'll trickle in, they'll watch for a little while, then they'll head off and do other things. Um... I also have a slight disadvantage of only having just about 1,900 subscribers, um, which means that there's less people out there for my live stream to reach, which means that it'll take a little while and a little bit of consistency on my part to grow the community to a size where when I go live, I do hit those 500 numbers. You know, if you think about Flinter, for example, Flinter's got over 300,000 subscribers on YouTube, and he usually gets about 500 people in his live streams. So if I was doing that at the moment, I would expect my channel to be growing at a lot quicker rate than it is right now buddy but um we will definitely get there one day through consistency determination and improvement i have no doubt that one day we will hit those numbers my friend but uh i appreciate whoever comes in whether it be five people 50 people or even 500 if you guys are taking time out of your day to come on in and spend a bit of time with me then i do appreciate that can anybody else see my chats everybody can see your chats david everybody can it's not just you, my friend. It works exactly the same as it does on Twitch with the chat. Everybody can see it. Vex is here. Welcome on into the stream. Vex, it's good to see you out there, my friend. I hope you're doing well. And if you guys do have any questions, as I say, please do go ahead and feel free to ask them. I'll do my best to answer them as quick as possible. Now, I am actually going to go ahead and uh, you suggested putting up in some self-promotion channels. I am going to actually do that just to see if it does help. Because there's no harm in trying to help yourself out a little bit, you know? There is absolutely no harm in trying to help yourself out a little bit, guys. So, I would recommend it. And I'm going to just very quickly go ahead and do that now. Uh, promote yourself. Boop. There we go. Ta-da! Um, don't know if there's anything else. I'm gonna, You know what? I'm going to throw it up in a couple of different discords just because I can. Just because I can. I don't get to do it very often. I don't get to do it very often, actually. That is true. And I, don't, I choose not to very often, to be honest. Because I never try and, you know, push myself on people too hard. Which means that when I do actually go ahead and tell people that I'm live, more of them are more likely to go, Ooh, I'll check him out. I'll check him out. Can't hurt, that's for sure. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Um, and then I think that that's everything. I've put it up in Zaggy's and I've put it up in the official Discord. I'll leave it at that for now. Um, let's have a quick look out here. Went fishing on Friday and Saturday. Got 15 fish and Saturday got a whopping four fish. Well, there you go, Hidden Saver. Sounds like you've had a good time. Vex is here. Welcome on into the stream, Vex. Good to see you, buddy. Um, I thought nobody saw my chats. No, no, we see you, buddy. Did you see my previous message, Andy? Just read it out there, Hidden Saber. You got you, buddy. Whitetail thought it was Red Deer. Oh, well, at least I can watch you. Yeah. Well, there you go. Uh, the, the thumbnail image is a Whitetail Deer. I don't actually have myself a great one ready yet. So that one's coming down the line. Um, how many Whitetail have you killed on this grind at this point? Uh, about 30. 10, maybe. 10, 12. I haven't really started a grind, Caden, to be honest with you, buddy. That's what the point of this live stream was going to be. It was going to be where I do actually initially start. So we'll do things like getting the need zones opened up, moving around the map a little bit and finding the locations where they are. Then we'll get our tripod setups ready to go. And then once we've got all of them set up, then we'll start to actually grind out the, the level twos and uh, work up towards that great one. So that is the plan for us so far. COVID results back and there's a second line. Expect uh, there's only a half a line. 
Well, that's no good, dude. It seems like the the past three months that I've spoken to you, you've had COVID. So um, at least you're consistent with it. Fair enough. Never never got a diamond in my life. Fa fa la la la. <laughs> Well, guys, if you do have any questions on how to get more diamonds on a specific reserve, feel free to ask me. And also, go ahead and watch the guides that I do have on the YouTube channel where I give you a tour of all of the reserves and give you guys a couple of hotspots for the different animals. And hopefully that will result in you getting a couple more diamonds. What's your thoughts on the Ukrainian brought with Russia? Um, I've been very I've been very open about that and I have said that um, I know that often people hide away from things like this because it's political. But what I say is that if there's anybody on any form of political side that thinks that the um, the the killing of innocent children can ever be justified, then it's not really someone that I want to talk to. Um, I don't think that it matters too much about your political views on that side of things. Um, innocent people, especially innocent children, are dying, and I don't think there's ever a justification for that. Um, so there we go. That is that is my opinion on it. Um, as I say, though, I don't really want to dive into it too much because I think that people come to the stream for a different reason. Um, but but considering you asked, I will I will do my fa uh, I'll do my best to answer it uh, without without getting caught up on it for too long. COVID results are back. Second line. Never got a diamond. Falls in Ukraine. Uh, Mellow box. You. What's going on, buddy? Welcome on into the stream. Hope you're doing well. Um, at least you're consistent with it. True, Coco. Very true. Um, almost at 2K. I know, Tackle. We are 97 subscribers away from 2,000, my friend. I'm very much looking forward to the day that we hit that. We'll probably hit it, hopefully, if I stay consistent within the next week or so. Um, so we might hit 2,000 here soon, which will be really cool. Should I buy Quattro, Colinas, and Rancho? Absolutely, Ghost. Um, if you can get it on sale, even better. But if you don't get it on sale, then they are still worthwhile. You know, the DLCs aren't too expensive, usually around $7.99. And the maps are really awesome. So I do often highly recommend it. But if you want to give them a try before you buy, so to speak, always go ahead and jump onto the multiplayer to give them a go. Um, multiplayer means that you can jump on the DLC maps without having to have the DLC yourself. You can use somebody else's and uh, give the map a little bit of a try before you go ahead and buy it for yourself. I am CSGO Dog from Discord. Hey, what's going on, communist cheese? Good to see you, buddy. Zaggy has COVID. He certainly does, and I, I have wished him well on his recovery. Saw my trophy room and stays away. Well, there you go. A Mexican bobcat calling out to us. We'll go ahead and see if we can get a little spot on that one. I'll take any diamond of any kind. Don't get me wrong, but we are trying to focus up on the, uh, the white tail a little bit more. 96 away now. Thank you very much, Bradley. How are you doing today, buddy? I hope you're doing well. Poor Zaggy, I know, but it's okay. He's doing all right, you know. He's uh, he sounds terrible, but he's feeling a lot better, so that's always good. But for now, we'll carry on making our way on over to the outpost here, so that we can get another quick travel location. And uh, considering we are focusing on the white tail, we're going to be basically playing on the right hand side of the map today. One day, can you do a lodge tour? Absolutely, Ghost. I have no problem with doing a lodge tour, buddy. Put COVID on four legs and give it a rack and I'll shoot it. Fair enough, sportsman. Mr. Wheels United, 76. How's it going, sir? Welcome on into the stream. Good to see you, buddy. Andy, that's effed up. Caden, I agree with you, buddy. I do agree with you. The uh, the situation is, is a little bit effed up, but... Um, we can't really do we can't really do too much about it. Um, it. You've got to think about it in the long game. You know, you've got to think about it as a long game strategy. And uh, you know, I, I I really do hope that it's something that's that's over sooner rather than later. Lodge tour tackle outdoors is down for a lodge tour as well. Well, I tell you what, guys, if we get ourselves another diamond whitetail, I will go ahead and put both of them up in the lodge, and then you guys can have a little lodge tour, okay? I'm good. Uh, so let's see this great one. Joking bird hope all is well with you. Thank you, Wheels. It is, buddy. It is. Now, Wheels, you joke about having a great one. But let me tell you, buddy, the first animal that we got today was a diamond white tail. So things are looking good for us. It may take us a little while, but I am determined to keep on going until we get that great one. You got a diamond already? Very true tackle. We certainly did, buddy. We certainly did. When in doubt, shoot it. 
sportsman, I thought you were Canadian. Uh, no? I thought that the, that was the American uh, way of doing things. <laughs> we always have a little bit of a joke, guys. I always encourage you never to take anything that we say too seriously, okay? We are here for a good time, and we like to have a little bit of a joke around. So, uh, so never see anything that I say as, as serious or too um to don't focus too much on what i say and take it for for literal sense okay sometimes we are just joking about um so so bear that in mind do bear that in mind what's going on mr immerse welcome on into the stream buddy how are you doing today same with twitch yeah absolutely absolutely doesn't matter if it's on youtube or twitch whenever we're rolling around on the live streams we are always here for a good time and uh, i'm never actually looking to upset anybody that's for sure so uh, take most things that I say with a pinch of salt and uh, and understand where I'm coming from. Here for a good time, not a long time. Okay, maybe that's too far. <laughs> Fair enough, Wheels. If you've got to get off to bed, buddy, you've got to get off to bed. You've got to get off to bed. I understand that. All I say is, who knows where my mum has been? Your mum probably does sportsman. Your mum probably knows where she's been, you know? Unless, unless she doesn't remember, in which case, fair enough. But I would imagine that she would. I would hope that she would. Andy, do you think I'll be a mod one day? You know what, Caden? I would say never say never, my friend. Never say never. Um, I mod people based on uh, me needing mods. And then I have a look at who comes to mind. And then I'll approach that person and say, listen, um, I'm looking for a mod right now. And you were the first person I thought of. Would you like the position? So that's how I roll with things. David, what is your plan for the rest of the night then, buddy? Because it's 11.17. If you're up early tomorrow, you'll probably be best to get yourself off to bed soon. Um, so that you have that beauty sleep, you know? Not too bad. Chilling with some classic. Nice. Uh, what are we hunting for on classic then? I've only ever hunted for werewolves on classic during the Halloween event. I've never actually done a genuine hunt. I mod four streams, which two don't stream anymore. Well, there you go, Vex. It seems like you, uh, you keep on... You keep on modding for people and then they give up. That's not a very good um, That's not a very good way of doing things. I'm very well, how are you wheels? There we go. YouTube, fair enough, David. So you're just gonna be watching me all night. Love that buddy. Uh, that's a very good way of mm, meteoratorship. Sorry, Ian? Do you wanna try that in English? <laughs> Do you wanna try that in English, buddy? Other two are only streaming one to two times a week. Well, the other thing is tackle outdoors. You have you have um, OG Bullseye. Who are you a VIP for or a mod for? I can't quite remember. I think you're a VIP, so fair enough. But you could maybe one day become a mod for him, and he streams every day. I'm a mod because of the community. Fair enough, sportsman. Hunting Whitetail for the competition that came out this week. Nice. So. As you guys know, there is going to be um, Fallow Day being added to Classic. That's going to be pretty cool. Now, I've never touched Classic, so I'm not... I, I, to be honest with you, I didn't think it was fair of me to jump on the beta for the sole reason of trying to gain views um, when I don't really play Classic at all. So, I haven't actually put myself forward for the beta for that. But there will be a great uh, addition to Classic soon in the form of Fallow Day. So, hopefully you guys that are playing Classic will enjoy that one. Bonjour, blue paper towel roll. What's going on, buddy? Or, uh, bonne nuit. Bonne nuit. Comment ça va? It's 6.17 in the afternoon where I am. So, Bradley, you're... Ooh, are you Canada by any chance? Are you, are you on the far east coast of Canada? Because to me, that's... Oh, no, wait. Six, that... No, wait. 11, 5. You might be on the east coast of America, actually. You might be on the, the east coast of America. 6, uh, oh, it'd be 519 if you're on. Yeah, so 619 is east coast right now. Guys, sometimes it's difficult to remember where, <laughs> where everyone is. I always find it difficult to remember where everybody is because time changes so often. With a, the with a daylight savings and stuff, by the time I catch up with it, it's already changed again. Uh, David... Bro, I don't have school. I'll be a full-time streamer, honestly. Well, Caden, it's not all it's cracked up to be, buddy. I work anywhere between 100 and 115 hours a week. And, you know, some days it's great. Some days it's not. And uh, it's definitely a lot of stress. So I would definitely 
say that it's one of those things where if you have the passion for it, go for it. But do bear in mind that it's a lot of work. I'm off in there, personal reason. Fair enough. Ghost, uh, how long are you streaming for? Good question, buddy. At the minute, I have no idea. We'll probably do two, maybe three hours. Um, yeah, we'll be an hour in at midnight. So, probably about two hours stream. We'll probably do a two hour stream, buddy. Moderator ship, there you go. Yes, VIP. Um, I would be a great mod. Who knows, David? When I need another mod, buddy, I'll be sure to have a look around and, and ask people. Eh? Why are you doing eh, blue, blue paper towel? Hope that everything improves for you, buddy. Can't wait. They look so good. Yeah, it was one of those things where when it was announced that I wasn't, even though I don't play the game, I was very happy for you guys to be getting something new because I know that it's a game that's been out for a while, you know? I'm a mod for three guys. Got to, uh, but got the power to give the boot for like five others. Just let the mod roll. Fair enough. North Carolina there, Bradley. Well, welcome on in from North Carolina, buddy. Good to see you. Andy, I ate yogurts and they got 20 grams of protein each. I feel stuffed. Well, that's, you know, you're going to be stuffed going in and you, you're going to be stuffed when it's coming out as well, buddy. So uh, look forward to that one. East Coast is 620 to 520. Cheers, sportsman. Tackle Outdoors, I am EST. Well, there we go. Now I know. I'm, fr I'm in the UK for a week holiday for a from Northern Ireland out there. Ah, thought you might have been French because you came in saying bonjour. But to be honest with you, if you're from Ireland, then I'll see. Top of the date here. <laughs> hope that you're doing well though, buddy. And I hope that your holiday is good. I hope that your holiday is good in the UK. Defo hard work and dedication. It's about drive. It's about power. We stay hungry. We devour. Put in the work, put in the hours, and take what's ours. Damn right, wheels. You know how it is, buddy. Bailey's Gaming. Hey, how are you doing today, buddy? Welcome on into the stream. Hope you're doing well. I can't believe that all of this time walking. I've, I've just been walking alongside the river. What's your favorite map? Probably going to be Silverish Peaks or New Zealand. Uh, New Zealand for the fallow deer. I absolutely love doing the fallow deer hunting on there. But Silverish Peaks because it's a lot of fun to hunt on that map. I genuinely recommend if you guys are new to the game that you go ahead and pick up Silverish Peaks. Probably the best new player's map. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let me go ahead and just try and spot this one. This is one of the difficult things that I do have with this map is the, the shrubbery density. It means that for the smaller animals like the peccary or the bobcat, it's really hard to see them. Especially for the pheasant as well. The pheasant can be quite a tricky animal to find in this area. Chris is just there flying. Where are you flying at the minute, Chris? Anywhere nice? Let me know. Hey, EST is on the coast. It's 7.20 right now. Well, there we go. So you guys have got all different times going on. The only word that I know in French is bonjour. Well, fair enough. I only drive in this chair. On that note, I will back to my corner and watch for a bit. No problem at all, wheels. I appreciate you, my friend. Uh, so I'm playing Call the Wild in December. So far, I'm still kind of learning. Your videos are a great help. Well, there we go, Bradley. I'm super happy to be of use and help, buddy. That's always what I'm looking to do. Doing well. Hope you are as well. I'm doing really good. Thank you. Oh, Phoenix, Arizona. There we go, buddy. Hope that that's going well for you. All right, so we're going to have a little look around here for any whitetail. Now, I don't actually know where the brand new whitetail zones are. Pre-reset, I had all of my zones lined up, ready to go. But then after we got reset, it was all mixed up. So now I've got to rediscover where my whitetail locations are. I'm going to try this lake over here, then we'll move over to this one. We'll cover our usual one, and then we'll even check this little one up in the top, top right as well. So we'll give it a little bit of a long walk around, and it may take us a little while. But guys, this is called a grind for a reason, okay? There's no quick solution to this. There's no quick fix. There's no quick way of doing it. You've got to set yourself in for hundreds of hours of grinding if you want to take this seriously. You're from Missouri. There you go, Caden. From Missouri, buddy. Well, welcome on into the stream from wherever you are in the world. I do hope that you guys are all having a good day. I stay in a place called Derry. Well, there we go. Oregon. There you go, Silent. How are you doing today as well, by the way? Now, I've got a question for you, Silent. Based on your name, I'm, I'm led to believe that you are a QT. But are you actually a QT? That is my, that is my question for you, buddy. What two maps should I buy from Quattro, Rancho, Te Aro, or Mississippi Acres? They're the only ones that I'm missing. 
I would recommend going with Tiara Roa first. And then after that, probably get Quattro. Then after that, Rancho and Mississippi, in that order. Uh, Mississippi, I don't know how it performs after the update, but I must admit with you guys, I, I like to keep it pretty honest. Um, Mississippi is probably one of my least favorite reserves to play on. I, I know that it's all down to personal preference, but I would always give you guys my honest opinion on things. <clears throat> Well, there we go. Silent is actually a cutie. Confirmed. Well, fair enough. Paper, paper towel roll going to be lurking. Cheers, buddy. I do appreciate that. Now then, guys, if you can't ever actually see where the white tails are, it's always good to go ahead and check out these little areas here. The disturbed vegetation or any footprints around the outside of the lake because that, if there is an animal need zone nearby, will unlock that need zone for you even if you don't spot the animal itself. What's your favorite map? Uh, probably Silverish Peaks. I, I absolutely love Silverish Peaks. Um, there's a lot of animals on there that I love to hunt. It's quite easy to move around and it's a really good beginning point to learn the basics of shooting, basics of spotting and stalking and pretty much anything that you're doing Call of the Wild. Uh, SRP is a really good environment to try and learn all that stuff. Follow closely with Medved. Yeah, Medved is one of those maps where I feel it gets a lot of um, a lot of oversight. You know, if there was a few adjustments made to the map, I think it could be a really fun one that a lot of people play on. But given the state that it's in at the moment, it doesn't look like that's going to be happening for a little while. Uh, however, I do always remain hopeful that that will change one time. Now, guys, I'm going to level with you, okay? I made myself a coffee. And I bought some of this strange flavored coffee. It's meant to taste like Cherry Bakewell. I must admit, all it tastes like is, is very burnt coffee that has a lot of chemicals in it. And, and for that reason, if you ever see any form of flavored coffee, unless it's flavored through syrup, I would say avoid it. Because for me, it's ruining the experience of drinking it. I'm going to drink it because I don't want to have to get up to get another drink. But it's not, not the best experience for me right now. It, it very much tastes like chemicals. And I don't enjoy drinking chemicals, if, if I'm being honest with you guys. Not something that I'm enjoying very much. Andy, how old are you? I'm 20 years old, buddy. I turned 21 on the 24th of May this year. That coffee was made in a in a in a certain kind of lab. Well, there you go. I mean, you know, I can neither confirm nor deny. I wasn't there when it was made. I wasn't there when it was made. Uh, no, not cherry bacon. Cherry bakewell. Uh, it's like a, a cherry bakewell is is a is a I want to say kind of cake. It's like a, it's like a combination between a cake and a tart almost. Um, but, it, but but cherry bakewell on its own is really nice. I have I, I have no problem with those. I love SRP because I like being in an open and taking long shots instead of going through the dense woods and stuff, sneaking up on the animals and having a higher chance of scaring them away. And that's the other thing as well. A different reserve will be catered to a different style of hunting. For example, Silverish Peaks, like you say, very much up for those open areas where you take on the long shots. Whereas New Zealand has a bit of a mix for that. And then something like Quattro or Parquet is going to be focusing a lot more on the close range hunting. So I think it depends on what you're trying to get out of the reserve and that'll dictate on which ones you go for. What country do you live in? I am from the United Kingdom, my friend. I am indeed from the United Kingdom. So there we go. Like I was saying to you guys, you don't necessarily have to find the animal themselves. We found their need zone and now we've opened up a white tail need zone. So we know that if we come here between 8.30 and 11 a.m., we will go ahead and find some white tails in this location. Which then means that we can cater our tripods and things like that for this area. And uh, we can come back and then start grinding the white tails out. Now, one thing that I would say to you guys, if you do want to get a great one grind going, is try your best not to delete any need zones, okay? That's going to be the key to this. Also from the UK, getting close to midnight now. It certainly is, buddy. So I often end up streaming right around that midnight mark um, because I usually work in a restaurant. I'm a restaurant manager. I usually work in a restaurant throughout the evening, which means that when I get home, I go live and it's around midnight. So it gets pretty late. But uh, I love the content side of things. I love interacting with the community. So it's all worth it. I drink straight black coffee. 
from Curry and I drink Dunkin' Donuts. Well, there we go. Now, again, bear in mind, I like to make a joke every now and again. Don't take it too seriously. You say there, Caden, that you drink straight black coffee. Do you have any problem with drinking gay black coffee? Please nobody take that seriously, okay? It's just a joke. It's just a joke, all right? In 2022, we should learn to take a joke, people. There's no harm in it. There's no harm in it. I know that you just mean that you don't have any cream or milk in there, okay? I know that you mean that, but, you know, you take things out of context. You put a little bit of a twist on them. People will go, ah, oh, frosty like And then everyone moves on. That's the way that we roll. That's the way that we roll. My bad, I thought you said cherry bacon. I was sitting there thinking, what the hell were they trying to think of making cherry bacon flavored coffee? Yeah, I, I don't think I, I don't think I would have bought cherry bacon coffee. That's for sure. Andy, you look like you're ready to stay up for three days straight. Oh, I don't know about that one, buddy. I do not know about that one. I can do 24 hours sometimes, but uh, three days I think would be a little bit beyond my capabilities. Having a hard time choosing between Rancho or Tearoa, but I'm getting Quattro for sure. Honestly, Ghost, the first map that I would go with is um, Tearoa. The fallow deer on that map are really awesome. And then, of course, you have the great one possibility with the red deer. And then after you've done the red deer grind on that one, then maybe go for Rancho. Because apart from the whitetail, there's not really too many other animals that I get excited to hunt on this reserve. There's the pheasants, which are beautiful. But uh, even then, I wouldn't say that they outweigh the benefits of New Zealand. 5.30 in Texas right now. Well, there we go. Chris of Duke is from Texas as well. Should do a 24-hour Call the Wild stream. I would watch all night. I'd watch all night to get close to you. Who knows? Who knows, Caden? Maybe one day, if we hit 10,000 subscribers on the YouTube channel. There we go. 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. We might do a 24-hour. But that depends on if you guys are going to do your best to share everybody. You know, be like, hey, everybody, come watch Andy. He's doing a 24-hour stream. But well, there we go. You know, I need your guys' support on that one. That's some whitetail action right there, but I believe that's a female. Oh, whoa, what's going on? Hello? Hello? There's a level one male. We should have an E zone around here somewhere then that we can go ahead and spot. Let me just check the tracks here. Uh, Andy, what guns are you running? And is it your usual loadout? Are you using any of the new DLC guns? So, wheels, uh, I'm back on my regular setup, buddy. So, for the Class 1 animals, we rock the 22 long rifle from Weapon Pack 1. For the Class uh, 2 animals, up to the Class 4 animals, we run the 243, which is base game. From the Class 4 animals to the Class 7 animals, we run the M1 from the Smoking Barrel DLC. And then for Class 7 to 9, we run the 300, which can be found with the Yukon Valley Pack. Favorite animal to hunt in the whole game? To be honest with you, buddy, I have a lot of fun hunting the... Um, I have a lot of fun when I'm hunting the turkeys on Silverish Peaks. I think they're a really awesome species to hunt. But out of the entire animals that we hunt on this game, probably the fallow deer recently have been my most fun. Mr. Indie Mike, what's going on, sir? How are you doing today, buddy? Welcome on into the stream. I hope you're doing well. Guys, Mike out there is my top commenter on YouTube. Um, I've never had anybody comment on as many of my videos as him. So, uh, so Mike, thank you very much for always giving me the feedback and support, buddy. It does mean a lot. And uh, guys, we should learn to be like Mike, okay? We should learn to be like Mike. If you watched the video... You slap it up with a quick little like, and then you leave a comment down below. That is the best way to interact with me on the YouTube side of things. And uh, it's always great. Mike always posts up a really supportive comment. Usually it's a great video or loves the video and gives a little bit of uh, context if there's a question asked during the video. And uh, can really ask much more than that. It's really awesome to get the interaction. Just trying to help out. Uh, well, I do appreciate that, Mike. It really does go a long way, buddy. So thank you very much for that. Now we got some disturb, disturb vegetation there. Tan, very fresh. Uh, is that a YouTube channel, Andy? Let me go and comment on anything that I haven't already. There we go. We all need people like Mike in our lives. Very true, Bailey. We certainly do. We certainly do. I actually met Mike through uh, Mrs. Zaggy DK. That was actually where I met Mike. 
It was over on his live stream a long time ago. And uh, I was very fortunate to have met Mike. He's a really awesome dude. And uh, a great part of the Andy fam now as well. A great part of my community. So always good to see people joining and expanding. Channel for channel. Oh, challenge. I see. I see that, Mr. Wheels. Andy, I love the new 223. It's better than the traditional 223 docent. What do you think? Well, Caden, my honest opinion on it, buddy, is there's not too much difference between the two. The, the 223 AR has slightly improved stats compared to the docent, but considering that the ammunition is exactly the same, you're not going to notice an overwhelming uh, performance increase, in my opinion. You know, it'd be like trying to throw... It'd be like trying to throw a ball at a wall at 30 miles an hour with your hand versus throwing a ball at a wall at 30 miles an hour using a pressure gun. The wall is still going to get hit at the exact same speed, just it's a different mechanic that you're using to propel it. So it's one of those things where as much as the 223 AR looks good, it has a semi-automatic functionality, which I'm all for. The fact that the bullet is still the same means that you should be expecting a similar range of performance from the gun itself. Um, so that's my opinion on it. The 308 is lovely. The 308 is a really awesome gun. Um, but I, 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 I discussed this in my recent video. If you guys haven't seen that one, I'd recommend I uploaded it a couple of days ago. It's my honest opinions on the Modern Rifles pack. And I talk about the recoil of it. When you shoot the M1, in fact, I'll go ahead and I'll shoot the gun just to show you guys an example. When you shoot the M1, if you watch where the crosshair goes, it goes straight up. So it's pretty much in line with where the shot hit, but it goes straight up. When you shoot the 308, what I've noticed is that the actual gun, so it's aiming here. As you shoot, the gun comes up, but it also goes over to the side, which means that as it comes down, it's slightly off target with where you shot at originally, which I find makes it a little bit more difficult if you want to take a follow-up shot or take out multiple animals at a time. Now, for some people, that isn't too much of an issue because they only take out one or two animals in a group. But for me, usually I'm taking out the entire group if I'm not on a specific grind. I don't really mind deleting these zones. So that's my honest opinion on it. The 308 is a great gun, though. I love the power that the bullets have. And if I was only taking out individual animals, I would have no complaints using it. But given that I like to group hunt and take out multiple animals at a time, I find that the M1, considering it has a very capable uh, round of ammunition, I find that this one is still my preference. The new AR223 is an M16, and it's better than the Docent, in my opinion. Well... And that's the thing, you know, everybody's allowed their own opinion and everybody I'm sure will have different experiences using the guns. All I can give is my own experience. And that's what I've found so far. I find the 308 better because it's easier to use on the controller. Well, there you go, Ghost. If you're finding it easier on the controller, buddy, then that is nothing but a good thing in my opinion. And as I say, if you guys are having a better experience with the 308, then that's awesome, you know. The last thing that I want is that anybody's having a more difficult time, of course. And if there's a way that we can improve your experience out there on console or even PC, then I obviously want to see that happening. But for me, I think that I've used the M1 for so long now that I feel at one with the gun. And it's going to take a really, really big change in the game for me to fall out of love with this thing. If you guys are taking out a class 4 to 8 animal though, what is your go-to rifle? Is it the 30 6 Eckers? Is it the British 303? Is it the M1 or is it the brand new 308? I would love to know. What do you think uh, the best way to earn a lot of money really fast? Because I've heard a hard time learning money. It depends on if you have any DLC, uh, Bradley. If you have the geese hunting DLC, then I would follow my video on that recently. Um, that's going to be a really awesome way for you to make money. Um, if you don't have that DLC, then I would recommend going on New Zealand and hunting fallow deer. And if you don't have that DLC, then do it through a multiplayer server, buddy. That's going to be the best way. But there's plenty of different ways in which you can make tons of cash in the game. Um, I just usually pick one or two methods and then advise people on that. Like I say, everyone has their own opinion, but I got to say I feel more confident getting shot to the new 22 rather than the original one. But again, that's just my opinion. Well, fair enough, Wheels. And you know, like I say, as long as everybody's respectful of other people's opinions, there's no harm, no foul. Um, for me, I absolutely love the 22 Zaza 15. I love it. I just wish that it had the same 10 round magazine. That would honestly be the game changer. If it had the 10 round magazine, there is no doubt in my mind that I would use that gun all the time. 
Well, excuse you, sir. Wow. That is some, that is some, that is some gas pent up and a half. 308 for now, but if I need one shot to save my life, I will always do the 7 mil. Yeah, of course. 7 mil is the class. That's actually class 4 to 9, isn't it, Mike? So you have the uh, the additional advantage there of not even needing another gun to take out the biggest animals in the game. The 10 round would be great. Absolutely, Wheels. And I'm hoping that that's something that will get added down the line. You're the best Call of the Wild streamer I've watched. Well, thank you very much, Goat. I do appreciate that, buddy. Very high comments and very high praise, considering I know there's an absolute ton of amazing content creators out there. You've got Zaggy, you've got Flinty, you've got Lady Legend, you've got Kill Clinton, Scarecrow, so many others as well. So, uh, yeah, really do appreciate that. But only one round, that's right, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a difficult one to take out multiple animals for that, because by the time you've reloaded it, <laughs> all the animals are here. I'm going to go over here real quick. And you're like, ah, have a good day then. Unknown Canadian, what's going on, buddy? How are you, my friend? Welcome on in. They should add dogs that can bring back geese to you. I would hunt the geese more if I did that. You know what, Caden? I find it quite easy to find the geese because I often shoot them when they're over the field. And then I just jump out, run through the field, pick them up, and then jump back into my tripod. I try to hunt geese, but I can never lead them right, so I always miss. I find that exactly the same, Bradley. One thing that I have found, buddy, is if you get a setup with a tripod in a field and then call them in, if you make them land, what happens is when you spook them off, they fly in a straight line away from you, which makes it a lot easier to hit them versus shooting them while they're up in the air. So give that one a try, buddy. Actually call them in, watch them as they come on in, and then eventually land on the ground. And then instead of them flying across like this, where you're trying to lead sideways, they'll often take off in a straight line, which means that you just have to shoot directly down sight, which is a lot easier. So give that one a try and let me know. Um, so there you go, Bradley. Hopefully that one helps you there, buddy. I watched Scarecrow, Flinter, and Clinton, and you. Well, there we go. I would love to watch more Call of the Wild content creators. The unfortunate thing that I found with making content yourself is you have less and less time to enjoy content of others. Um, so I do neglect the content of guys like you say there, Flinter, Scarecrow, Clinton. Um, but I know that they are all awesome peoples, so I highly recommend their stuff to people. And Lady Legend as well. She's been a great help to me recently. Um, and I've been trying to help her out with a couple of things as well. Hello, Andy. I'm good. Glad to hear that unknown Canadian. Glad to hear that you're doing well, buddy. Always welcome on into the stream. They should make them able to fetch the geese so you don't have to get out of my blind. And that's the thing, you know. I think, I think that having retrievers in the game would be really awesome. I think that having um, the bloodhounds were a great thing for new players. And maybe down the line, having a dog that can specifically be sent out to flush a certain area would be really cool as well. So we'll have to see how it goes. We'll have to see what EW do in terms of the development of the dogs. In my most recent video, I talked about new vehicles coming to Call of the Wild, and I spoke about a horse there. I would absolutely love it if the horse could have an interactive um, experience as well. That would be really cool. But, uh, but who knows? Who knows? We'll have to see how it goes. You see close to 2K subs? I know, Mike. I'm super proud, man. Like, seeing the YouTube channel grow. Now, guys, listen. I'm not going to pretend like I didn't take 10 days off. Um, but it, as I say, I try and keep it real. Um, I was going through quite a lot mentally, and I just needed that reset. But now that I am back, we are ready to go, and I'm ready to smash 2K, 3K, 4K, 5K. And I'm hoping, I'm ambitious, but I'm hoping it will hit 10K before too long. Because uh, I've got some big plans for this year, and I would absolutely love to do that. So, um, so yeah. Thank you very much, Mike, for... Uh, for noticing we are very close I'm, I'm quietly excited but uh but yeah seeing the channel growing and seeing new people coming on into the community is uh is always awesome good to see you back andy good to be back wheels truth be told i did miss it when i was off but i knew that i needed the time off so uh we took the time off mr legend and oh there we go we're talking about lady legend and mr legend's like oh hi andy what's up how, how are we doing buddy your ears must have been burning sir how are you doing tonight welcome on into the stream if you aim just a bit in front and above it, then it should be good to hit them. But for me, the 22 AR is harder to hit the geese with. Well, fair enough. Fair enough, my friend. Look, if you know what I mean, absolutely. I do indeed, my friend. 
Watched the video yesterday and loved the editing. Cheers, unknown Canadian. I do appreciate it, buddy. So, yeah, my video yesterday was a little bit different. I did put a little bit more effort into the editing. Um, and I don't know. I don't know. If you guys, feel free to give that video a watch if you haven't already. And let me know. Do you prefer it when a video is higher edited? Or do you prefer it to be a bit more raw content? I'm always trying to figure out what the best content fit is for the audience. Um, because my editing style is very adaptable. I can make things very basic or I can make them very complex. For me, I don't really mind. Um, it's all about the viewer experience and what you guys prefer. So if you say, listen, having the extra things in there where when you, when you talk about a reserve, the reserve logo pops up. Or when you talk about a new edition, the country pops up. I'll keep on doing that and I'll improve that. Um, but if you guys are like, eh, to me it kind of gets in the way of the video, then I can cut it out. It's really not an issue. And uh, it's really crucial feedback that I get from you guys regarding things like that. So keep it coming. Daddy? Uh, we can go with that. We can go with that street. How you doing, buddy? I mean, you know, I'm, I've, I've definitely got no kids, but that doesn't mean I can't be your daddy, I suppose. Welcome on into the stream. You doing great out there, Mr. Legend? Glad to hear it, buddy. Glad to hear it, sir. All right, let me just quickly drink some more chemicals. Actually, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm going to leave myself walking in a straight line. And I'm going to go get myself a drink. I'll be right back. I'm here watching you, Andy. Things must be great. <laughs> That's very kind of you. Thank you very much. That's very kind. Now, one thing that I am going to try and do, guys, and it's a, a little project that I'll probably actually do after the stream today, is I'm going to try and figure out how to add a bot to my YouTube chat so that I can actually put some commands in there. Things like the chair command, things like the Discord command, um, so that you guys can have those things on hand. Um, so I'll definitely try and figure that one out for sure. Nobody gonna say hi back? Hi, David! There we go. I said hi back, buddy. Never fear. There we go. And Merce said hi back as well. Andy, I got a max weight 162 score in Diamond Cape Buffalo today. Amazing stuff, Caden. Congratulations, buddy. But God, Mike, it has been a while, dude. I think that the last time I actually spoke to you was... Before Christmas? Yeah, I think it was before Christmas. How is the uh, how is work going? Hope everything's going well for you, buddy. I just ran into your channel today. How often do you post? I try and post daily. I do try and post daily, either with a live stream or with a YouTube video. Um, sometimes it doesn't work out if I get busy with work or if I just don't have enough time to edit the video and upload it. Um, then that's the only reason that I won't be uploading. But it's quite difficult because as a player, a lot of the time that I spend is running around doing things like this. And so far today, I haven't really found anything that I could make a YouTube video out of. I mean, we found one diamond white tail, which is great. But there's not really too much that you could make a dedicated video for. Which means that sometimes I do run into a content stub. Which is then when I go down the educational route of making a video where I give you guys a little bit of feedback on how to do certain things. But, um, but it's all about trying to find the balance with that. And that's something that I'm definitely trying to figure out a way of doing a bit more effectively. Um, you know, just trying to give you guys a balance between education and entertainment. So, I'm giving it a go. I'm giving it a go. That's what I will say. And as, as for your actual question, how often do you post? As often as possible, buddy. As often as possible. Don't fear Andy Wills is here. Absolutely. There we go. Just turn on my fan here. It always gets warm whenever I start streaming because the energy levels come up a little bit. The energy levels do come up just a little bit. So 
So there we go. We've made a full run around the lake and we found two whitetail knee zones. We've got one there at 8 to 11.30 and one here at 8 to 11.30. So now the next step will be come back to the outpost unless I have a tent on me, which I don't. We'll go back to the outpost. We'll get some tripods and a tent and we'll put them down. And, uh, and that way we can come back here during their knee zone time and take out a couple of big boys. I don't know what to do for entertainment on my channel. I'm on Xbox, so it's hard. It is hard because it's difficult to record from Xbox. Um, a lot of the people that I've seen that do it often have a couch card that plugs into a PC. So it's one of those things. You do what you can until you can improve Unknown Canadian. You know, it's like for me, I have huge ideas of what I would love to do with my stream. I would absolutely love to get a multi-camera setup, okay? This is, this is one of my dreams to have. Have a long corridor like this that, that goes all the way down that's lined with white lights that has one wall that's painted with a green screen. And I would love to get three or four different cameras that all sync together, that are stitched together, that create a really long green screen. And then I'd be able to actually walk down on camera with a portable mic and talk into it and talk with people and do interactive content that way. But the reality is sometimes it just doesn't work out that way. So it's one of those things where I'm always looking to improve, but sometimes you are limited with the ability that you have on hand. So it's, it's one of those things. Over time, you can improve and you can get better with it. But right now, you've just got to keep on going with what you can and, uh, and make the most of it. You know, make turn lemons into lemonade, even if the lemons are slightly moldy, you know? Not working nearly as many hours, thankfully. Good. Yeah, you were you were winding yourself thin. Uh, that's for sure. But uh, but also, you know, the the job that you were doing, it was a crucial job, and the hours were required. So the fact that you're able to take a bit of a kickback now and relax a little bit, obviously, it's going to be better for you. Especially in the long, especially in the long term, where you've been able to, you know, probably spend a little bit more time with the family, which I know you absolutely love to do. So a win-win. I'm level 20, so compared to the big YouTubers, they have more guns. Uh, do you want a lot more guns as you level that are hidden because they have most weapon DLC? Yes. So there's some guns that you can only open, and I'll show you here. There's only there's some guns that you can only open through weapon score, um, which is what you get by using the guns. It's not even related to level per se. So let me go ahead and show you, for example. If I go on to my shotguns here, if I go into the store page, I go to shotguns. You can see here the Katia Torre or the Katia Torre. I can't actually unlock this one because I don't have a shotgun a shotgun score. But some guys that have been playing the game for hours, they have already used their shotgun enough to get that score up. Same with the, the bows, I'm pretty sure. There we go. I don't actually have enough for the Hawk Edge because I haven't used the bow enough. And even some of the handguns here, I don't have enough for. So the way that you do that is by using the pistols that you, you do have access to and working your, your weapon score up for that category. As for the rifles, I pretty much have everything available to me apart from guns that are only unlockable through missions. So, for example, I think that this one here is done through a mission. And I think that there's this one here, which is done through a mission as well. So, apart from that, I've unlocked everything be because I've either played long enough or I've got enough rifles to score. If you have Silver Edge Peaks, go on that map and shoot everything you see. That's usually good. That's usually a good way of doing it. Absolutely. What's the max level for a pheasant? Level three, buddy. So the way that I rule it, a general rule of thumb, is the um, the smallest animals are going to be a level three. Your main game or your medium game is going to be a level five, and then your big game or your predators they're going to be level nine. There are a couple of exceptions to this rule. For example, white tails are level three and red deer are level nine, but. That's a good general rule of thumb to apply to know which max level you're going to be running into. The 6.5 mission skin is a pain to get. Well, there you go. At least it gives some. At least it gives you something to work towards, right? If everything came easy in this world, nothing would be worth doing. All right. So now that we've got our tent, we'll run back around to around this location here and we'll put a tent down. That way we can come on in and shoot these guys, but we can also shoot these guys as well. That should be a pretty balanced location for us. A light brown turkey is rare because I just got five in two days. At the minute, buddy, they are common. Uh, they have been changed. In the past, they were an uncommon, almost rare fur, uh, with only the albino and melanistic being true rares, whereas now they are so frequent that they are just commons, really. Um, I find I find at least three in every group. So 
It is one of those things where if you find a diamond one, then great taxidermize it. If you don't, don't worry about it. You'll find another one within no time at all. I leveled up my handgun and shotgun by shooting geese so that I could use scopes on all those weapons. There you go. So there's a bit of advice for you from Mr. Legend. If you guys are finding it hard to do it through general hunting, go ahead and take on the geese with either a pistol or a shotgun, and that'll help you increase your rifle score. Mr. Legend there also saying that you could get yourself sorted by um, adding a nightbot to the chat. Now, if I can add the stream elements bot onto YouTube, I'll preference that one because nightbot, I, 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 I have a strong disliking for. Um, but if it's the only option that I have, then I'll go ahead and find a way to use it. You should go stream on Twitch so I can get channel points. Wow, Ethan. I see you out there, buddy. He's like, hey, Andy, listen, man, not to complain about the fact that you're here on YouTube, but if you could not be on YouTube, that'd be great. <laughs> well, fair enough, buddy. I leveled up my handgun and shotgun by shooting geese. I like round turkey bread. 6.5 mission skin is a pain. There we go. I'm all caught up on the chat. I do try and stay interactive with you guys, and I never let a message slip me by if I can help it. They still do every now and again, but uh, I do what I can. Alrighty, so we're 400 meters away, which is probably about 600 by the time we uh, we roll on around. Will you be on Twitch tonight? No, sir, I will not. We've got about another hour here on YouTube, and then I'm going to be getting myself off to bed as it is already midnight. And I don't want to be staying up too late. I find the free gun they give us is easy to level up your handgun because it works for bison, cape buffalo, etc. Yeah, so we have had a massive um, increase in the usability of some pistols with the... Which one is it? It's the Rhino pistol, is it? The 454? Um, they've added that one in as an anniversary gun, which is super awesome. And I've heard nothing but good things about it. I may even have to give it a go myself at some point. But, uh, but that one is an absolute powerhouse. I imagine it'd probably break your wrist if you tried to use it in real life. But uh, but if it works, then it works. And I'll, I'll definitely not be complaining about that. What's wrong with Nightbot? I just find it to be a little bit less intuitive to use in stream, stream elements, to be honest with you, Unknown. You only stream for 40 minutes, Andy. Um, are you streaming for two hours? So far, we've been streaming for 57 minutes, buddy. So far, we've been streaming for 57 minutes. Um, but we've got another hour, so it'll be a two-hour stream. Tomorrow night should be a Twitch stream. Tomorrow night will be a Twitch stream. Yes, absolutely. But I, uh, I work in what I can, Ethan. You know, I've got to show love to the YouTube side of things as well, buddy. Because there's some people on the YouTube that aren't on the Twitch. And uh, I, can't, I can't just neglect them for that reason, you know? I've got to try and balance my time to... Uh, to show everybody a little bit of love, because everyone deserves to be to be given a little bit of content every now and again. And the live streams are a really awesome way of getting to know me better as a person. Hi from Wales. Hello, Nasirachi. Doing good with your team, Kyle Noswai Dayan. At the old Ammon Welder stream, Henna. What's going on, True? How you doing, buddy? Watch your Twitch so I can watch you tomorrow. It's twitch.tv forward slash Andy Wills TV. It sucks that you have to buy to shoot geese. You know what, Ethan? It's one of those things, buddy. You buy weapons packs to be able to shoot guns. Sometimes you have to buy animal packs to be able to shoot different types of animals. You know, at the end of the day, these guys are making really awesome content for the game. And um, and we are very fortunate that the DLC prices are very reasonable. You know, usually it's around the price of a coffee. Um, so I don't mind too much. I don't mind too much. Well, there's the first few of the night, so I'm going to head off. Have a great rest of the stream, and I will no doubt talk to you over the next day. I'll say, Wheels, thank you very much for stopping on in, buddy. I'll definitely see you again soon, my friend. Take care of yourself. Why do the geese never land for me? Is it my decoy placement? It might be your decoy placement. I'd recommend placing the decoys about 70 meters away from your tripod. At least it's cheap as well, like 15 bucks. Exactly, Ethan. That's what I was saying, buddy. You know, I mean, if you think about it, if you go to Starbucks or somewhere like that, you're going to pay seven bucks for a coffee anyway, right? Because that's the prices that they charge them because some people, people pay it. But, um, you know, you get some game content that you can put hundreds of hours in. 
So by the time you, you weigh it out and you say, all right, I'm going to pay $7.99 for this map. And I'm going to put 100 hours on this map. Which means that for every hour that you play, you're only paying like $0.08. Cents. And I say that $0.08 cents an hour isn't too, isn't too bad at all. Let me go ahead and place down my tent here. There's not too much that you can do in this world that only costs seven cents an hour. <laughs> Excuse me, bloody hell. Hiccups are coming on in because I'm getting excited. It happens sometimes, it does happen sometimes. All right, I'm gonna try a tree stand. I've never actually tried one in Call of the Wild, which I know sounds ridiculous, but I never have. So I'm gonna try placing one down, see if it works. No idea where you're meant to place them down, if it'll work on this tree, for example, or not. No. Can we put one on this tree here? No. Is there any, like, certain types of trees where you can place them? That'd be a good spot for one. Really? We can't throw them up on these trees? Alright, well, I guess we'll have to use a tripod then. I keep putting the tent at the Yukon Valley hotspot near the bridge and it's not saving. Um... Does a beaver keep on eating it? If it's a beaver that keeps on destroying it, then it's probably because it's put, being put down on some terrain which isn't usable. So I try a different location. Hopefully that'll work. For some reason, I've got Eminem's Lose Yourself stuck in my head. I have had all day. Don't worry, I'm not going to give you guys the Andy's rendition of it. Has to have an outline around the tree. Ah, okay. I've never used them before, so I don't know how they work. But thank you for the advice there, buddy. All right, let me go ahead and... Uh... There we go. Place that one down here, which will be good for this entire cove here. And then we also have the other whitetail need zone just over here that I'll go ahead and put down a tripod for as well. I think that here will be a good spot. Has a direct line of sight for it. There we go. This should be good. Yeah, look at that. That's a good that's a good little scope right there. We can get a good range of the animals. Perfect. Then we'll carry on moving around. Now I know that we're outside of the need zone time probably at this stage. Yeah, 1249. But that's okay, because we're unlocking the couple of zones. We don't actually need the animals to be here. Now, I think that this is another outpost, so I'll go ahead and unlock that one real quick. And then we'll make our way on over to the smaller lake. The very weird has to be a perfect tree or you won't get anything. Understood. Thank you for the advice there, Ethan, and Unknown Canadian. You guys are super awesome for helping out. I feel a bit naked at the minute. I've left my phone in my bedroom because it was on charge. So uh, I'm, I'm used to seeing it there and I can just, you know, tap on the screen and see if there's any notifications. So the fact that we don't have them is a little bit alien, but it's okay. It's okay. I'll get used to it. <laughs> but he keeps on forgetting what he wrote down. The whole crowd goes so loud. He opens his mouth, but the words won't come out. He's choking now. Everybody's joking now. The clock's ran out. Time's up. Over oh, blouse. Snap back to reality. Whoop, the ghost gravity. See, I told you guys I wasn't going to do it, and then I've done it. I do apologize about that. It's... It's stuck in my head. I can't get it out. <laughs> I can't get it out. It's one of those days, I think. Just one of those days. If you guys are playing games casually or if you're chilling, what, what's your usual go-to music? Let me know. I would love to hear some of you guys, uh, some of you guys' favorite song categories or favorite songs. Maybe some of you guys like a little bit of Eminem. Maybe some of you guys are a bit more pop music, country music. I don't know. You let me know. Film scores. Film scores. What? You, like you just, you just, you just vote on a film?
very weird. It has to be a perfect tree. That's probably why maps work a little bit better. How do you have so much money? I have 368,000 in game. Uh, most of it comes from hunting geese, to be honest with you. The geese hunting is where I've made most of my money recently. If you look at the video that I put up a couple of days ago, Ghost, you can see there that I made over 50,000 in just 30 minutes of hunting. So it's a really effective way of making money. Ethan, morning country, noon, chill music, night, Eminem, the real Sim Shady. Do you stand up? That's the question. Or should I, should I say, do you please stand up? Please stand up. Please, please stand up. You'll have to let me know, buddy. You'll have to let me know. Alrighty, let's go ahead and reset time a little bit here. 8 a.m. Made me laugh a little? Good. As long as I'm making you laugh and not cry, I'm doing something right. I should probably go ahead and grab a tent rather than a tripod. It's easier to uh, easier to quick travel with a tent than it is a tripod, let me tell you. Storage here. Boop, boop. There we go. We're good to go. All right, sweet. Let's go ahead and mark up the lake that I want to make my way over to, which is going to be these two little ones up here, and then we'll make our way over. Uh, I'm going to go now. I'll be back tomorrow to watch you. Thank you very much, Ghost. I do appreciate that, buddy. If I'm not live streaming on YouTube, there will be a video followed by a stream over on my Twitch side of things. So uh, make sure you go ahead and stop on in. We usually have a little bit of music on Twitch, um, and it's a little bit more of a uh, upbeat, chill vibe. But uh, with the YouTube content policy, I have no music and stuff like that. So it's more focused on the content itself than having a good old time. But uh, I do hope you have a good night, buddy. Thank you for stopping on in. What is your go-to map? Depends on what I want to do. If I want to hunt for trophies, then it's probably going to be SRP. If I want to get some cash, it's probably going to be Hirschfelden or New Zealand. And if I want to grind, it's probably going to be Rancho. So like I say, it depends on what my motives are for the day. And what I've got going on. If I'm making a YouTube video, any map will do, you know? Any map will do. Ah. Uh... I need to find a solution for my mic so that I don't keep on hitting the audio cable that comes out the bottom of it. I've also found that if I put my mic on a certain angle, it, it leans so much that my mic goes from being like this and just flops so that it's facing the ground. And I'm like, ah, that's not good for audio quality. I do apologize. Did you end up getting a diamond today yet? Ethan, uh, yesterday we were unlucky. Ethan, the first animal that we found today, buddy, the first animal that we took down was a diamond whitetail. So yes, we did, my friend. That was the very first animal we came across, which is always good. Got to make my way on three. I'm your YouTube... Um, you just walk around. In my YouTube videos, I don't ever hunt anything because I don't want to take away from what I'm trying to say. So I want that to be like engaging visuals. But uh, but I never I never hunt anything. The other thing that I could do is do some essential B-roll, right? Like, which is where I just, I take my webcam off and I just start shooting. Um, I just start shooting stuff and taking it all out. And then I just record my webcam. So it'd look, my actual recording would, would look like this, right? Where it's just the game. And then when I come to record, it would look like this, where it's just me. And then I'd overlay one on the other. But it's it's one of those things where, you know, I try and find the easiest solution that works for the situation I'm in. And often that means that I end up just running around like this and talking with you guys like we are now. I'll be at, like, the next three streams. But then after that, you're like, eh, I'm done. Screw that guy. Just got my first time in Wolf on Quattro Colinas. A bit cheesy as they appear 10 feet away, but I'll buy, but I'll take it. Hey, a diamond is a diamond, you know? A diamond is a diamond, and you can't be too snobby about which ones you take and which ones you don't. Otherwise, it's going to go wrong. Guys, can I also just say we're currently on 26 likes for you guys. Thank you very much. 
I did not expect that from a uh, from a live stream. 26 likes. That's insane. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much. And as the community grows, it's going to be really interesting to see how the YouTube streams go. You know? Getting an opportunity to meet you guys on the YouTube side of things that I otherwise wouldn't get to interact with is really awesome. And I, I, I always love meeting new people as well. So, uh, so thank you for the opportunity. No, I just won't be with my laptop for a while until next weekend. That's a Tuesday. It's going to suck because uh, I wish I could come to every stream. You're all good, buddy. You are all good, Ethan. 27, 28. <laughs> well, thank you guys very much. That's really awesome. I never know how the lights work on YouTube. It's one of those things where if people if people like the video, do I see it real time or is there like a delay on it? I haven't figured that stuff out yet. I'm a relative YouTube noob, but um, but I, I make my way through it slowly. I like. Thank you guys. Thank you. It does apparently it massively helps out. Apparently it really does help the video do better and uh, get out there to more people. So um, so thank you guys for helping. I gave up on the great one, 25 diamond white tail, and I still couldn't bag him. You know what, Lewis? It's one of those things. Uh, I hope I've said Lewis correctly there. If it's Louis, I do apologize. Uh, please do feel free to correct me, though. I always try and remember. But, um, you know, some people have got over 300 diamonds and only two great ones. It's it's one of those things. RNG is a factor. Your, your luck is a factor. And if you're not very lucky with it, it's going to take a lot longer than if you're very lucky. Um, but I would try and encourage you not to get disheartened, buddy. Keep on going. Keep on having fun. That's the important thing. Don't grind it out and focus on it too much. Just wind on back and enjoy it. Enjoy the experience and you'll be fine. Is this a new channel? No, Melissa. This is not a new channel. Well, technically, I'm new, right? I haven't been doing this for all that long. So technically, I'm a new content creator. But this is the only YouTube channel that I've ever had. It puts the videos on recommended or something. Yeah, something like that, David. If there's like a lot of activity on the video, then it'll get pushed to more people. I don't really know how the whole YouTube side of things works yet. I'm still trying to learn that as I go. But um, but I just try and I try and make sure that the content that I put out there is the highest of quality no matter what. Which means that anybody that does happen to see it will enjoy their experience. And that, I think, is a pretty good strategy for success. But Melissa, this is not a new channel. This is just uh, this is just a new content creator, I suppose. Especially on the YouTube side of things. I've been doing Twitch for about a year and a half. But uh, but YouTube, I only really started in December. So four months in and we're doing all right. We're doing all right. Wait, they need an Antarctica map with like seals, penguins and all kinds of stuff. You never know. You never know. It might happen. How many diamonds do you have? Because I have 47. I reset my diamond counter at the start of the year. And so far, we're up to 28. So we've got 28 so far in 2022. I probably could have got more if I actually focused on grinding diamonds. But I, I, to be honest with you, I'm a bit of a massacreist. I, I just shoot everything. I just tend to end up shooting absolutely anything with a pulse and... Uh, Probably hurting my chances of getting a diamond. <laughs> I have a whopping zero. Well, David, how many hours do you have in the game, buddy? And how effective is your hunting strategy? 29 soon? Who knows, Ethan? We did manage to get one at the start of the stream, like I was saying. So uh, we'll have to see how it goes. The one thing that I have noticed about YouTube, okay... And this is something that I didn't know before I asked a question to uh, to a friend of mine that does YouTube. It's on the live stream, for example. Right now, it says that there's nine people watching. But all that that means is there's nine people who in recent time have typed in the chat. There could actually be, you know, 40 people watching. But if people don't type in the chat, it doesn't count them. That is something that I'm not used to seeing. So, um, so it's always interesting that you never get a true representation of how many people are, are actually sat there going, Oh, yeah. What's going on? <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and throw down our tent here. Do I actually have one on me? I do have one on me. There we go. And we'll throw down a tripod as well. Got to try and put it in a location where we can see everything. That's going to be the key. Mm. 
I know that would be cool. The thing is with this terrain is it makes it very difficult to put a tripod down. There's never anywhere that's, that the game likes, you know? The game's always like, nah, don't want to put it down here. You know, there's too much stuff. It's like, nah, there's a rock here. Can't put it down there. Like here, I could, I could definitely put a tripod down here. Why, why are you not letting me put a tripod down here? There's nothing there. There's nothing there apart from hopes and dreams, man. Why are you going to kill my hopes and dreams? Can we put it down on the rock? Will the game let me put it down on a rock? Slope is too steep. Slope is too steep? What do you mean? Bruh. We're getting bullied now. We're getting bullied. Okay. Let's try it a different way. Let's see if we can go on a wide angle. Huh. <sighs> Nothing was ever meant to be easy, I suppose. Right, guys? Nothing was ever supposed to be easy. Can we put it down over here? Oh, there it is. There's a sweet spot. There's that sweet spot. Now look. Now look. We'll be able to look at that. We can watch all of the areas over here. All of the areas over here. Oh, perfect. We found the right spot. We found it. I'll take it. Let's carry on moving. If you put it down, it's going to get KO'd by the beavers. That's it. You know, you've always got to be careful. Those pesky beavers, man. There ain't no beavers in my Mexico, though. Let me tell you. We'll, uh, we'll go ahead and have them dealt with. All right. Where else should we go on to? Well, I suppose with it being 845, we should maybe go around our big lake over here and see if we can find any of the whitetails in the locations we usually find them. That could be useful. So let's get it done. Let's get it done. Alrighty. So. We're going to be looking for the biggest of the level twos in any group. Taking them down. We don't want to take out too many animals because we don't want to delete any need zones. That's going to be the crucial thing. Don't delete any of your need zones, guys. That's going to massively delay your progress. That one over there is alert, but that's not an issue. It's only a female anyway. Now, if we can find... There's a male level 2, 235 right there. So let's go ahead and take him on. If we can... Now, we can't get him to turn around, so that's fine. 235 is not a diamond, it's just going to be a high gold anyway. Although we could always just go ahead and chill in a tripod and let them come back in. So maybe we'll do that. Maybe we shall go ahead and do that. Hey, Berg Bros. What's going on, buddy? It's been a little while. I hope you're doing well, my friend. Hope that life is treating you kindly. All right, here we go. We're, we're camping out. We are camping out in our tripod. Now, they should spook away for a little while, but they should always come back into this location. Lady Legend said uh, that a lot of the time they hide and that you have to call them in. Really? Okay. Well, let's go ahead and grab ourselves a couple of whitetail callers then. I never use callers. As you guys that have been watching my videos will know, especially on the Ultimate Hunting guys, I always tell you guys, I never use callers. But if that is the method, I will go ahead and try it. I'll give anything a go if it helps us get a great one. Absolutely. Maybe we'll have to adapt that to our uh, uh, New Zealand setup as well. Calling in the red deer. Uh, the only time that I actually use a caller is this one right here, which is the Canada Goose caller. We use that one on Hirschfelden sometimes. Berg Bros, how you doing this weekend, buddy? Hope that your weekend's been good. Alrighty. So here on our storage, do I actually have any callers? I have a couple of them. Deer Bleats here. This one works for the white tail. This one here also works for the white tail. And then we'll go ahead and drop the, uh, the other one back. We'll also go ahead and drop the tripods off because then what that will allow us to do is go ahead and take off our backpack, which means that then we can be a bit lighter and won't spook anything as easily. There we go. Let's go ahead and grab this one and we'll make our way back over to the tripod.
Lady Legend's been a massive help for me recently. She's uh, actually, guys, a little bit of an exciting thing for you. We will be doing a great one. Uh, not a great one. Sorry. Uh, I'll be doing a video with Lady Legend at some point soon. Um, we've got a really fun video concept that's going to be coming out. And uh, I think it's going to be one that you guys really enjoy. So uh, stay tuned for that one. <coughs> it's going to be really fun. The snort caller only works for bucks, though. All right, the snort caller, snort wheeze, buck. There you go. You got to you got to do the actions with it as well. Otherwise, you're, you're not going to have as much success. Where are you from? I'm from the UK, my friend. I am from the UK. Now, if that doesn't attract them, I don't know what will. Let me tell you. If that ain't attracting all the males. I need some men in my life. Come my way. Hey, yo, that looks sus. Hey, yo, unknown Canadian. Just because you want it to be doesn't make it, okay? Just because you want it to be something else doesn't mean it becomes that thing, sir. All right, so now we wait. <laughs> we wait forever. Let's try the other one as well. God, that is it. If that isn't a sound from classic, I don't know what is. They're very loud, aren't they, for the size of them? They are very loud. But then again, so are the deer. Hmm, how much success will this produce? I have no idea, but it's worth a shot at least. It's worth us trying. Just see if we do actually have any extra success using them. As you guys know, traditionally... Something coming in behind us. Have a little look here. I'm not sure. Everything seems very quiet at the minute. It's only just gone 9 a.m., so there shouldn't be any issue with the need zone time. In my opinion, the grunt caller works best for me. Sounds like classic because that was the one that used uh, one of the first callers in the game. Aha, there we go. There we go. So you use the, the, the grunt caller. Right. So I've, I've not got the one that I need then. Is that, is, that what, is that what we're saying? Andy, you've gone and got callers, but you've got the wrong callers. Right. Understood. Let's go ahead and grab the, the correct ones then. Typical of me to try callers for the first time and end up using the wrong ones, but that's okay. You have to buy it. That's fine. I got, I got some cash in the bank. It's fine. We can buy it. That's not an issue. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, unlock this one then. Then we'll have like 15 callers. Hey, that's what, hey, yes, be a, be, a, be a great one. That'd be wonderful. That would be absolutely wonderful. All right, let's go to our store page here. Nope, store page. We want to go to callers. The antler rattler. That one works for fallow deer, so we don't want to use that one. Um, duck caller, definitely not going to be one. The grunt caller. Right, so if you're talking about things looking sus... That, well, I'm going to let your imagination run wild on that one, okay? I'm going to let your imagination run wild on that one. What you guys get up to with your callers is none of my concern. All right, let's keep on moving over here. We'll jump back up into the tripod and we'll try grunting at them. I think they changed the grunt caller to both sexes of deer. Okay. So we've got the grunt caller here. Richard Naturals and this uh, pick peak the curiosity of any dominant buck or amorous doe nearby. Draw them into your line of fire. Grunt has a high range but a low chance of attraction. Low range. Alrighty. Well, we'll give them both a go. We'll give them both a go. 
can't hurt, right? We'll try all, we'll make a musical out of it. We'll make a musical. You know what? I might actually do that at one, one stage. Maybe I'll do it for like April 1st or something. I'll just make a song in Call of Wild out of all of the callers in the game. We'll call it the calling song. And everyone will be like, oh, this is a bop. Did you hear that song that Andy made? Yeah. He made it using nothing but the callers from the in-game. Yeah, he did. <laughs> God, I'd really need to find something else to do in my life if I was doing that, eh? A three-minute song with... You know, it's that you could almost make you could almost make like a call the wild Billy Jean rendition with this. Tune in with the Billy Jean from movie scene. You know, you, you could work it. You could work it. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe it'll happen down the line. What's up, Smexy? What's going on, T-Man? How you doing, buddy? Welcome on into the stream. I hope you're doing well, my dude. Absolutely. An orchestra for deer? Oh, absolutely. And then, and then you could have you could have this one pitch vary. So you could have like ah 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 ah. Oh, mama mia, mama mia, mama mia, let me go. Listen. I have I have these crazy ideas, okay? I have a lot of crazy ideas of things that I could do. But who knows? Who knows? Alrighty. Are any of them coming back in? No. They're all laughing at me right now. None of them believe me. None of them believe me. They're like, oh yeah, dear are you? Yeah, well, why do you have two legs, huh? You didn't think we could see them, did you? All right, well, can't blame you for trying. And now, as is tradition with Call of the Wild, I'll make my way over closer to where they are, and they'll all come back in. They'll be like, oh, hey, you want to go? Oh, we're spooking again. And I'm like, oh, Jesus. It's true. It's, it's what happens every time. Happens every time without fail. <clears throat> but not to worry, we'll keep on making our way around the map. There'll be other of the white tails that we can go ahead and pick up. Because I do have quite a couple of need zones for them. Although this map doesn't show any. Why is my map not showing any of them? It's showing those two up there. I suppose maybe I just haven't picked these up. We'll go ahead and unlock them then. Need zone unlocked, 8 to 11.30. There we go. I got it. Oh, there we go. See, that's why you got to scope out the areas ahead of you. Because the last thing you want to do is start spooking all of the, the animals off. Uh, now, I should have put my tripod down a little bit closer to me, it would seem. But that's okay. We'll crouch our way on over. God, I can only imagine how much it must hurt your legs to crouch down this low and then carry on walking forward. For hundreds of meters at a time, might I add. And after looking at it, I don't think that I could have had a worse tent out uh, tent location. Literally, what? 30 meters away from the uh, from the white tail zone. That's definitely an oversight on my part, but it is what it is. We'll make our way on in here and jump up into the tripod. Maybe we'll try calling them in a little bit. See if we can get any more than just the two that we've seen so far. Certainly can't hurt to do that. The advantage that I have right now is the wind's actually really good, so they shouldn't spook too easily. So we can go ahead and jump up into this one here. Boop, just like that. And look at that. Didn't even hear a thing. Now we'll get this one out here.
Now, if we call them in, let me have a look. Here. Oh, look at that. They're on the move. They're on the move, people. They're going, hey. Hey, I hear you. Grunting at me. What's going on? I'm like, hey, what's up? What's up, dude? Want to party? Want to party? And by party, I mean you want to face my gun? Just shoot in the face. Don't worry about it. Hello? The level two disappeared. The level two was like, nah. Fair enough. I haven't eaten 10 set up for whitetail, but I need more tripods. Yeah, I feel you on that one too, man. They're expensive though, you know? 16,000 for a tent, 16,000 for a tripod. Gets expensive real quick. So. Look at her, wow. I switched over to the grunt call and she was like, oh, I'm coming, baby. I'm coming, don't you think about moving. Jeez, there you go, she came on in. Nerf Rancho is a good map for Bighorn. It's a good map for Bighorn Sheep, but I would say that uh, SRP is definitely a better map. SRP is definitely the goated map for the uh, for the Bighorn Sheep. Trying to get a diamond. Ooh, trying to get a diamond there, buddy. There you go. All right. Well, this one here is a tiny level two, but I'm still going to take it on. <laughs> yeah, you have a nice day now. You have a nice day. I'll see you later. All right, let's go ahead and grab that level two. Then we'll keep on moving on around. Oh, Jesus. She came back for revenge. She came back for revenge. We should be okay. Oh, jeez. Stop it. I will end you. I will end you. Don't you look at me like that. That's right. You have a nice day. You have a nice day. Jesus. She came back for revenge real quick, huh? I don't trust you. All right, there we go. So this level two here, just going to be a silver. It was a very small male to begin with. But the point is not to try and get the diamonds and things like that. It is simply to try and level the level 2s up to a level 3. And then try and level the level 3s up to a level 10. Which in theory shouldn't work. But it does. Just, let's go with it. There we go. See, so now we have another couple of deer in there. See, I could do with having a tripod around here. So I can call them in. But considering I don't, we'll just have to go old school. I have to go old school looking, looking down on the ground, being small as possible. And we'll scope them out. There we go. Look at that. That's how you do it. Convincing them. Like, hey, want to come on in party? And look at that. They are calm. Life is good. Life is good. Come on. They need a little bit of encouragement sometimes to keep those legs moving. As long as they stay calm, then it isn't really an issue, you know? Now, the only thing that I'm noticing here is it's only the females that are coming forward. Having that level 2 male, which is around here right now, would be a massive advantage because that's the one that we want to shoot. Let's go ahead and get the gun ready here. There we go. Down it goes. And we're only taking out one because the last thing we want to do is delete any knee zones that we do form. So we've got one knee zone here, one knee zone here. We could probably also get another one in here if I didn't spook the animals off. It is what it is. Um, so that is going to be the plan for us right now is to keep on moving on around, get a couple of knee zones unlocked, reset time, repeat. And then we'll start to work on them a little bit more. Now, one thing that I would say is use a tripod at every opportunity that you get to reduce the hunting pressure that you create, okay? The less hunting pressure, the better. Always remember that. All right, let's go ahead and grab that level two male. The big male that will hopefully come back as a level three. That is a plan, anyway. That is the objective that we're working to. Let's 
silver right there. Now then, the difficult thing is going to be spotting the animals around the corner here because we don't have any visual on them. So they could be 30 meters away, they could be 150 meters away. You just simply don't know. So always proceed with caution and take your time. The last thing you want to do is spook off your level 10, right? So uh, there's also these guys over here, which we will go ahead and take a better look at here soon. There's another tripod up there. Now this white tail is calling out some female though. Oh, it's a mule deer even, sorry. My apologies. That level two and that level two right there are going to be our two main targets. But if there are any others, we can always go ahead and take them on as well. There's no reason why we can't. On your old Call of Wild account, do you have a diamond of every animal? No, sir. We do not. We do not. So I've only ever taken out... Um, well, to be fair, I would have to try and hunting on some more of the reserves. I, I've only ever got a couple of the animals from any of the reserves that aren't New Zealand, SRP, or maybe Rancho. But I, I put a lot of hours on SRP when I first started playing the game. It was only when I started making content for it that I actually touched any of the other reserves, really. Now then, as the only calls that I'm hearing here are females, I'm not too worried about it. I mean, we're, we're 20 meters away from her and she hasn't fleed yet. So if you guys were ever worried about, you know, how close you can get to animals before they flee. Well, we're 22 meters away. And got it. Look at this. We're within 20 meters of her. You know, if you were using a bow right here, this is dream stuff. She still hasn't fleed. In fact, she's gone, she's gone alert. We're not going to shoot her. But, you know, if you guys want an example as to how close you can actually get to the females. Well, I mean, I can almost see how many hair she has on her body. And these guys are only nervous. Well, that one's nervous and this one's alert. And, they're, you know, I'm not in a tripod or anything. So it's pretty, pretty easy to do. And if I go ahead and jump into the tripod here. There you go. So you get even more of a chance to just deal with them without even creating hunting pressure now. Which is even better. What if I call you in? What if I call you in? What are you going to do? Probably nothing. That's fine. Let's have a quick looky look out here. See if we can actually see any of the white tails from earlier. No, in my luck, they'll have all spooked somehow. Actually, come to think of it, where have they all disappeared to? There, were, there was a ton of them over here. The doors in this game are stupid. I have a clip where I'm almost kissing one. Ooh la la. <laughs> Ooh la la. Each to their own, I suppose. Won't ever catch me kissing a doe, but but if you, if you want to, then I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell you not to, you know. Is that one over on the far side over there? There we go. There's a doe over there. All of the males have disappeared though, unless that's one there. There's the two eleven. There was also a two forty three, I think. But where are they traveling to? Are they coming in towards me? I think they might be traveling on in towards me. I'm not too sure. I'll carry on calling them in. I'll carry on calling them in. Can't hurt. Now have another look see look here. There we go. So they're definitely making the way on in. That one there's a 247. Sorry, not a 243. And any of the others, well, are blocked. Even the females, get, she's like, I will walk over this water to get to you. Fair enough. She, she, she looking for that. She looking for that D. By D, I mean deer. Come on. Jesus Christ, guys. <sighs> what are we going to do with you all? Alrighty. Hey, good looking. They're coming into our call to the drink time is over. Well, I mean, the drink time is it's only 10 a.m. here. It's only 10 a.m. So I wouldn't have thought they'd be they'd be they'd be coming in out of their out of their. Oh, of course, of course you flee immediately. Why wouldn't you? 
and you're behind the ridge now. Of course, it flees immediately. It's the quickest animal to ever go from calm to fleeing, I tell you. My goodness, did that go well. At least we got one of them down. That's the important thing. As long as one of them goes down, it's all good. We'll pick him up. We'll carry on moving. See, for me, this is a very alien style of hunting, guys. I'm always a running gun hunter. So the, the whole getting into a tripod and waiting and being patient and stuff like that, something I'm very unfamiliar with. Um, but it's something I am learning, something I'm trying to get better at, and something that I hopefully will be able to use to educate and help. Hey, Andy, I'm back. Welcome back out there, Ethan. Hope you're doing well, buddy. All right, let me just quickly check these things here. I'm pretty sure it's all the same meat zone. And I just want to see what kind of numbers we're dealing with in terms of whitetail. So we've got this one here, which is a big horn. Oh, there we go. Big horn sheep. So they are a shared knee zone. This one here is also big horn sheep. Bloody hell. Tons of them. Hello there. We actually ran over here the other day. And we found a melanistic whitetail. That was pretty awesome. So, oh actually, you know what? After this, after we're done here. So in about 10 minutes. I'll go ahead and uh, get us up into the lodge. So I can show you guys our melanistic whitetail um, and also our diamond and a couple of other things that I've got as well. So uh, so I will do that at the end of the stream. Why not? We might as well. One thing that I am seeing though is from our knee zone locations, um, I'll need to adjust some of my tent locations and tripod locations, which is fine. It was always going to need to happen. SRP before the stream ends. Well, we've only got 17 minutes of the stream left, buddy. And I feel like if I was to go on to SRP... God, some of these guys are huge. Look at that. You know, before you start fleeing, I'm just going to... Yeah, sorry, buddy. I'm so sorry. I have ruined your day there slightly. Probably no SRP today, Ethan, but we will be doing that on the stream tomorrow over on Twitch. So make sure again, guys, like I say, twitch.tv forward slash Andy Wills TV. So uh, there's also a link on my YouTube homepage. Uh, if you go into my YouTube channel, top right corner, there's a little Twitch icon. Click on that. That'll take you directly over to the uh, Twitch channel. So there you go. The more you know. And then this one here is going to be a lovely goal. 218 on the score sheet. We'll go ahead and accept that one. Carry on moving. All right. So this knee zone, we found the animals over there, but the knee zone's actually been created over here. So it seems like there's going to be quite a widespread of the animals, which isn't an issue. It's always good to know this information. Now I'm hearing something over to my right. I'm thinking that's going to be a female. But I will crouch on down to see if I can spot her. There we go. It is a female. So we'll let her run off and do her thing. God, these guys run at you like an absolute bulldozer. They really do. Now we'll have a little... Don't you, don't you come running at me. There's this level 2 here as well, which is a 230, and that one's a 240. If I had a tripod down, I could take out a couple of them. I could take out a couple of them. I don't have a tripod on me, do I? I don't have a tripod on me. Ah. Oh. Right. So now it's decision time. What do we do? What do we do? Um, we're going to commit to it. We're going to commit to taking them out. We'll take out two of them. We'll take out the two big boys, and then we'll leave the rest of them. That's what we'll do. The, the the ability, realistically, the difficult thing with this is having the ability to not shoot an animal. The shooting them is the easy bit. The not shooting them is the challenge. What are the max tents on the map? I believe it's 
16. I think it's 16 tenths to a map. Yeah, we'll take out the 230 and we'll take out the 244. 240. Just because we can. You know when to run away. <laughs> we'll take out we'll take it out in four shots, and I don't care. It wasn't a diamond, so we don't have to worry about it too much. But that one there has now created a little bit of hunting pressure, which I'm not a fan of. So we'll have to shoot in other areas. But we do still have the need zone, which is the important thing. So that's fine. We'll go ahead and pick these guys up. And then everything should be good. Told a man in the Billy Jean that you cracked the scene. Do, 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 do. But remember to always think twice. That's the song that's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. It's, it's, it's a nightmare, really, but it is what it is. Spinal cord? Uh oh. Guys, on my Great One video that I uploaded when I took out the Great One, Whitetail, on Leighton Lakes, I was uh, about a centimeter from spining it. So glad that I didn't. We really didn't hit this one too well, apart from the left lung and right lung at the very end. It's what it is. It happens sometimes, you know? Not every shot's going to be the uh, the dream shot, but if you, can, if you can hit them when it counts, and that's what matters, really. That is what matters, really. Alrighty, here we go. So we're now a little bit further around. So that's where we just were over there. We've come over to this point. Really? Hello? It's fine, it's fine. Now we'll make our way over this side of things. There might be some white tails over there. And there's usually some over here. So we'll try and be quick with it because it is almost 11 a.m. in game, which is usually when their need zone time starts to end. And we might catch them as they're walking away, hopefully. But time is of the essence. There's a white tail up there. Just a female. My apologies about that one. Had to sneeze all of a sudden. 12 minutes left of stream. That's okay though, because you, you plenty of YouTube content for you to watch, and then I'll be streaming again tomorrow, so you won't have to miss me for too long. You can always find a fix for Andy somewhere in life. So this makes me think there's actually another need zone around here somewhere that I just haven't been able to spot. So we may actually have to reset time and come in from this direction and spot it across the water. So that's that's something that we'll have to bear in mind. That one there's actually a decent level too. So let me just very quickly take that one out. Now, I just want to double check. It's not from this need zone, is it? No, it's not. That's good. Very good. We'll try and do the rest of the lake real quick. And then we'll, uh, we'll head over to the lodge. Bedtime here, GG's. Hey, no problem at all, Tree. You have yourself a wonderful night, my friend. Thank you for being here, chilling with us, chatting with us. Always good to see new people coming on into the stream. And I'll catch you hopefully next time. I'll catch you hopefully next time, buddy. Alrighty. She's just a girl who claims that I am the one But the kid is up my tongue Ten fifty-eight. Ooh, we're cutting it close. We are cutting it close. There should be some just down here though. 
So I'll try and keep my eyes peeled. I never understood that phrase, keep your eyes peeled. I imagine that peeling your eyes must hurt a lot. <laughs> I don't ever imagine that there's a time when peeling your eyes is a pleasant experience. Yeah, I think that we're a bit late on there. Need some time here, guys. I think that we've just missed out on it. So we'll have to get that one another time. But that's okay. These things do happen. These things do happen. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and we'll jump on into the lodge real quick. And we'll finish up in there where I can show you guys the diamonds that we've got. And we'll be able to put up some of the trophies that we've got since last time. So we'll get that one sorted. And then we can, uh, then we can finish up. There's no raiding on YouTube. That's one thing that I'm not used to. On, on Twitch, you do slash raid and you send the people that are watching your stream over to somebody else's stream. You can't really do that on YouTube. It, it's weird. You just sort of end and then that's it. <laughs> but here we go. So we start off here with our two beautiful water buffalo. We have a cape buffalo here as well. Two beautiful albino bighorn sheep. Some light brown turkeys. And then some more uh, light browns with a diamond as well. Level 5 goat up there. Level 5 elk. We then have the Wall of Fame where we have our beautiful level 9 legendary red deer, two diamond pronghorns, another water buffalo just up there. We then also have a uh, diamond goose either side coming on through. We're greeted by two diamond turkeys, a couple more uh, diamond. So this one here is actually a really awesome one. It's a diamond male gray, which I'm super happy to have gotten. This one here is cinnamon teal diamond. Then we have the diamond light brown Merriam turkeys all there. Oh, hang on a minute. Are they gold? They are gold. You're, are you? A, you're a gold gray. Ah, hold on. Let me switch you out because we actually do have a diamond gray. We did have a diamond gray. There we go. Mountain lion, light brown. Nope. The diamond gray is in here. I think, I think that I put it in here, actually. There it is. There's our diamond, I believe. Yes, yeah, so there's our diamond gray. Okay, per I thought it was going crazy there for a second. Lovely diamond fallow deer. A beautiful albino water buffalo. And also a dark fur black bear diamond. Dilute mule deer. A diamond goat. Diamond bighorn sheep, of course. Now then, new additions. Let's go ahead and slap one down here. Canada goose diamond. We'll have it loud and proud facing the door. Why not? There we go. On the stand behind it here, we're going to go ahead and throw down. Which one will we throw down? I want it to be a big deer. We'll throw down. Well, we have the fallow deer back here. So let's do this. All right, I've crouched on the floor by mistake. Let's go ahead and remove this trophy. We'll place down the fallow deer. There we go. So now we have a fallow deer either side. And we'll move the mountain goat into this one. Perfect. Then we'll put the lion by the side of the lion. Don't mind me calling out there by mistake. And we'll put the white tail at the back here as well, facing slightly to the left. Now, what other diamonds do we have? Anything that can go on here? Negative. What else do we have? We have red deer melanistic. Ooh, red deer melanistic. Don't mind if I do. Let's go ahead and throw that one up on the wall here. Red deer melanistic. And a white tail melanistic as well, because we can. There we go. Beautiful. And then we have one more animal, which is... Oh, no. We have two, actually. We have a Plains Bison Leucistic and a Pronghorn Tan. Well, the Plains Bison, I feel, would only be fair to get the Plains Bison walk going again. So we'll slap that one on here. And then we'll put a Pronghorn up wherever we can, which is... I don't want to put it on a, on a huge plaque because I feel like it gets dwarfed a little bit. I would much rather put it on a smaller rack and let it shine. We'll have we'll have a little look in here. Hopefully there'll be one in here. There we go. Pronghorn diamond can go there. And there we go. That is the lodge sorted, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's stream. I do hope that you have enjoyed. If you have, make sure that you stop on in for the next one. Make sure you leave a like on the video slash stream before you leave, and I will catch you all in the next one. But until then, thank you so very much for watching. Enjoy your evenings. Catch you all tomorrow on Twitch. Peace.